Hey everybody, this is uh, Ronnie, back to not do a challenge this time, this is just a uh, something that uh, I wanted to try, it. something hot. Unfortunately, Tommy's not able to be here with me to try this, so I got my son RJ with me. He likes hot stuff too, so he's going he's gonna to try it. So what we're trying is this uh, Peach Carolina Reaper wing sauce. You can get it at uh, Kroger. See, we got our wings. Got them all sauced up real good. Now, <clears throat> these wings were done in air fryer, and it's also got a, a Nashville hot dry rub on it before it was cooked. So it has a little bit of heat in it anyways, and then we've added this. So we, uh, we're going to try it out and let y'all know how we like it. Mm, smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Man, oh, we got a nice flavor. <clears throat> yeah, that flavor is definitely tell the peach. I mean, you can sit there and see there's little chunks of peaches in there. Good stuff. Bam, Carolina Reaper. You'd think there'd be a lot of heat to it, but there's not. I guess they didn't want to overdo it because they figured, well, if they overdid it, they wouldn't even sell the product, be able to sell the product because very few people want to buy. But, uh, yeah, it's some really good stuff, man. I can throw down a whole plate full of wings of this. I mean, I guess it's got a little heat behind it, just enough to you know, kind of mingle with that sweet a little bit of that <clears throat> peach. So I definitely highly recommend uh, getting that stuff. See if I can grab this bottle <clears throat> without making a mess here. Again. Peach Carolina Reaper Wing Sauce. Pick it up at the uh, Kroger's where all the uh, other sauces and stuff are. And uh, while I had it on my mind, <clears throat> I always want to try to leave y'all with a word. Uh, easiest one that comes to mind, and definitely something that I want to always remind y'all about. Comes out of John chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And uh, man, it's just good to revel on that because. <clears throat> I mean, God, he sacrificed his own son. He already knew what was going to happen before it even happened. So it, just imagine what God had to go through thought-wise to allow that to happen to his own son, his only son at that. So it's just some little bit of spiritual thought for you. I appreciate you being here with us today. We'll see you all next time.